Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Monday, January 28th. I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. I am coming to you live from the famous Fountain Blue Hotel in Miami Beach, Florida, for the annual NAPI conference. NAPI stands for the National Association of Television Program Executives. Now, I am sitting in my hotel room, and you can see behind me that it is dark outside. So, I'm going to fess up. Technically, it's Sunday evening. It's about 10.30. There is so much going on in the morning, I thought I should do this tonight. This way I would have time to do it. The conference officially kicks off at 9 a.m. with the keynote speaker, the one and only Mark Cuban. Now, behind me, it's dark, but when it is light out, we have a nice beach view. The pool is actually right behind me. The beach is behind that, and it is quite a view to see. Now, I've talked about this in the past. I want to mention it again. I'm nappy. Now, this is actually, believe it or not, this is my 20th time attending nappy, which I can't believe it. I remember like it was yesterday. It was the late 1980s. I came to my first nappy. I was working for Grant Tinker Gannett, GTG. We had a syndicated version of the newspaper USA Today. And I remember what nappy was like then and how it's changed over the years. Way back when, nappy was a big Uh, production. We had a floor loaded with distributors with amazingly big booths. We had Amazonian people walking the floors. It was a huge show. It is toned down considerably. It is not just about syndication anymore. It's about the global TV marketplace, international, digital production. There are so many more facets to what Nappy is. It has completely morphed into more of a universal event. Now, you don't see um, the same type of people uh, that came in the past. I mean, I do know many people that do attend, but there are so many new faces that it really is a who's who of different aspects of this business. This is a great meet and greet. It's great to attend panels, learn new things, and I'm happy to be at Nappy. Now, um, thinking back in the past when syndication really was the primary focus, what I have for you on today's newsletter is a listing of the upcoming new product being pitched for fall 2013 in both first run and off network. So I have that listing for you today. I will be walking the floor. I'm talking to different people, hopefully getting some people to do some later video casts with me. So it will just not be about me talking alone this week. And I will have updates for you throughout the week at our website, www.tvmediainsights.com. And of course, on our daily newsletter. And I'm coming to you from Miami Beach, Florida, although it doesn't look like it now. Um, Let's talk about an item in TV history. This is actually very sad. I remember this like it was yesterday, and I bet you do as well. On this day in 1986 was the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster. If you recall, the astronauts went up in the air, including Krista McAuliffe. And within 73 seconds, there was a major explosion. Everybody was killed. And one of the tragic events in our history, and that was 27 years ago, which is hard to believe how the time has passed. Now, heading to cable, I have a couple of items for you. We'll start with HBO sitcom Girls. The cable network, as expected, has given it a renewal for a third season. HBO has ordered 12 additional episodes of Girls. Over at True TV, we have a new season coming up of Hardcore Pawn. The cable network has picked it up, and it actually just taped its 100th episode. Now let's head over to syndication. Katie Couric sat down with controversial um, footballer Mante Teo on Thursday, and as expected, the ratings were above average. Katie scored its second highest rating in the overnight markets. It did a 2.6 rating in the metered markets. That's a weighted average, and that is the best performance since debuting on September 10th with a 2.8 and an 8. And then over at NBC Universal, Trisha Goddard which is the distributor's second new talk show this season. The first is Steve Harvey. That has been picked up. Trisha has been picked up for a second season, as was Steve Harvey. And, you know, I received an email somebody had asked, or actually on our Facebook page, that she had thought that the ratings for Trisha Goddard were low. Why was it renewed? Well, you know what? On paper, the ratings are very low. But you have to put it in perspective. The station lineup that Trisha Goddard airs on is not strong. The lead in support is not strong. And Trisha basically is holding or actually building partially on the year ago time period average. All the more reason to pick her up for a second season. 
And that is our daily video cast from Nappy 2013 in Miami Beach. I am Mark Berman. I will have more news for you from Nappy as the week progresses. I hope you have a great day, and I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, tomorrow. Take care.